My main responsibility is to take care of Eurovision Song Contest all the year around. From the day we have a new broadcaster, a new country, uh, I work with the host broadcaster throughout the year to make sure that they prepare in the right pace and that we get everything we need in place uh, to have the three shows running as they should be. So, so this is mainly what I do. During the event weeks, I'm here to overlook the rehearsals, basically, uh, to make sure that every act is treated equally, that they all get the same opportunity, the same uh, kind of attention from the production. Um, I follow up all the comments from the, the different delegations. They're all eager to present themselves in the best possible way. So I'm here to make sure that it's always fair and according to the rules. The biggest challenge in my job, oh, there are many of them, there are many big challenges. Uh, it's actually to get it all together, to make sure that uh, the host broadcaster understand the, the scope of hosting Eurovision Song Contest because it's not only the three TV shows, there, there's so much more around it. A thousand delegates, 1500 journalists, um, fans and spectators from all over Europe and beyond. And um, they have to understand how to facilitate down to the smallest detail. Uh, the delegation area, uh, everything it takes, the press center. These are things that the, the uh, broadcaster usually don't deal with. And of course you have only a short year to prepare it, which is very, very short time. Uh, and that's always a challenge for any broadcaster, big or small. My role in, in that is actually to try to help the broadcaster as much as possible to get around the, the hurdles. And there's been many hurdles here in Ukraine this year, mainly bureaucratic hurdles. It's a challenging place to work. They have a lot of laws and regulations that are in place for good reasons, but they're not really fit for Eurovision Song Contest. So I must say that that pushing and, and sometimes pushing very hard to get things through has been challenging. But again, what we see here is Eurovision as we know it. And that's also because of great work from the Ukrainian side. We have been preparing very thoroughly. Uh, delegations mostly very happy with good feedback from them, which means that we have done things right. We have a lot of good Ukrainian acts that will you know, add the Ukrainian touch this year. That's the beauty of Eurovision Song Contest. It travels and every year it will, will have the, the sort of footprint uh, of the territory and the country. And we will see this very clearly this year as well. Yeah.